Hey guys, welcome back to the Comic Book Lowdown. I'm Wellington, and this is Marissa. And today, uh, we're gonna, of course, be talking about Deadpool, as you can see by our shirts. And we're gonna be reviewing the first story arc of the uh, New Fifty Two, uh, not New Fifty Two, the Marvel Now Deadpool, uh, by Brian Posehn, Jerry Duggan, and uh, Tony Moore. And uh, this is the first six issues, and. It's going to be really interesting because, of course, I regularly read comics and she doesn't. So, um, but we're both very big fans of the character. So, uh, we both read it and uh, me personally, I really enjoyed it. I thought, uh, I thought it was a lot different take than, uh, than the Daniel Way stuff that came before it. The art in here was really fresh by Tony Moore and uh, the jokes in here, even though they were not um you know the, the the jokes in here weren't rapid fire like one after another but um they worked when they were put out so uh even though there were a lot of jokes so i'm i'm not saying that there's no jokes in here they just weren't like everything that he said wasn't a joke but uh how did you feel about it um Okay, um, I don't know, I disagree with you, I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, anyways, just, I'll, I'll start off. The, the premise of this whole story arc is uh, this necromancer by the name of Michael, a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. He, uh, he's upset about the way that the country's going, he's upset about how, you know, America is, and his solution to the problem is that he's gonna resurrect all the dead presidents, and, uh, he thinks that that's gonna work, it clearly doesn't because they come back evil, and, um, in, a, in an attempt to, you know, not get this too public, S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, d puts upon, puts the the uh, the burden upon one shield agent named Agent Preston, and she has to find somebody that can handle this efficiently but quietly. So they can't have any shield agents doing the dirty work, and they can't have any Avengers or you know Spider Man or anything like that. They can't have any of the superheroes uh, <laughs> taking care of these dead presidents because it looks bad. So of course, who do they hire? They hire our man Deadpool and so um it's just a really fun uh book and it's all six issues were a really fun read so uh like you know what what do you think about like it because it's your first Deadpool comic that you're reading right mm -hmm. so like what do you feel or no it's your second because you read oh, Deadpool yeah. 4 but your first sole Deadpool book yeah uh like what do you feel about this being your first book like how, how were you introduced to the character? How were you like, how did you like the story in it? Mm. Things like that. Like how did you have fun with it or whatever? Uh, well, I think it was like really different from Deadpool Corpse because like it was like I can't really remember it, but like <laughs> I think this one was better. Yeah, I, I thought because I read Deadpool Core as well and. uh like, it, it was fun, but definitely, I think, Posehn and Duggan put, uh... There was, like, more characters. Like, there was, like, I mean, like, in the last one, I think it was, like, just the girl... In Deadpool Core? Yeah. The, oh. It was, when... like, it was just, like, them as a team and, like, the head that was, like, floating around. Yeah. Yeah, where, whereas in this, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's you have, really like, good. the agents, and then you have, like... Like Deadpool, and then you have Mike, and then you have like other people, like Doctor Strange, and all those other yeah. presidents and stuff. Yeah. Some of the main characters in this book, just so you guys can uh, get up to speed, of course, Deadpool. Uh, like I've mentioned, Agent Preston, as she's known, a Shield Agent Preston. Um, Doctor Strange plays. He, he's in the book. Like a little. He, bit. He's in it for a little bit, but he does play uh, a kind of a big role. Um, Benjamin Franklin is a big character and the good guy, Hasai, you know, how Benjamin Franklin was a ghost and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
and then of course the presidents, uh, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln being the, 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 the two presidents that they focused on as <laughs> like the kind of leaders. And so, uh, you know, like I've said before, I thought it was a really fun story. I thought it was really original what they did. And um, the art in here is just absolutely amazing. But there's one thing about the art in here. If you don't like gore, you don't want to read this. Because this was, this was a really gory book, right? Yeah. Like, um, like when, when you read Deadpool Core, it was all right. Yeah. I, there was a little bit. Yeah. But how'd you feel when you, you know, opened up <laughs> this book and and the first time we see Deadpool <laughs> and he's he's cutting through a, a, a dinosaur, dinosaur and here let me let me open up the page if you guys haven't seen this because this is you know Tony Moore at his best mm. uh, just drawing some gruesome gruesome stuff so cool. and this is the first time we see Deadpool in this Marvel now <laughs> and just look how gory that is and it's just. It's so awesome, though. It's like cartoony gore, and, uh, you know, I, I guess I could say that's my, my style. Uh, but, like, I, how do you feel when you open up to that page, and it's just, bam, <laughs> jumping right at you? It was a shock, but I liked it a lot. Like, I think it was, like, a lot. It's, like, you don't really expect it, so I wasn't expecting that at all. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... And you were probably judging by the cover of this, yeah. as you see from cover the first cover, Deadpool is actually, you know, fighting the dinosaur head to head, <laughs> whereas you don't see him fighting him. Yeah. <laughs> you just see him yeah. cutting through his stomach. <laughs> but, uh, so, like, as you can see, just even, like, the art in here works for, for the comedy in this book. And so, like, it, it was, the, the art definitely complements the story. And the story is, you know, it's kind of a silly thing with, of course, Deadpool having to kill all the presidents. And it's even funnier that, you know, some of the jokes that they pick out is Deadpool doesn't know the presidents because he's Canadian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think Posehn and Duggan did a great, great job at, you know, they have a great voice for De uh, Deadpool. Um... And like I've said, the art is great, and again, it's really gory. Uh, what else could you expect from the original artist to The Walking Dead, right? <laughs> so, um, and he, he draws, uh, more draws Deadpool as if he's a zombie from The Walking Dead because his face is just messed up. It, it's gross. Yeah. Like, uh... Like, there's, like, this one part where, I think it's, like, in that one where, it's like, his, like, skin is, like, like, coming, like, it's, like... And I don't know how to explain it, but it's, like, coming off. It's, like, really gross. Yeah, it, like, they didn't uh, hold back on, on the gore in this. It's cartoony, but sometimes it's it's just overdone. <laughs> <laughs> and I know uh, Sleepy Reader 666 mentioned that he does not like the, the cartoony gore, just too much gore at all. But um, we Deadpool lovers, we're, uh, we're all about it, apparently. <laughs> so, um, just... You know, throughout the full six issues, uh, you know, the story progresses where Deadpool, um, he's always getting his butt kicked by, uh, by the president. So it's a big task he's taking upon himself. And uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is pretty much uh, on the fence and continuing to believe in Agent Preston. So uh, Agent Preston really needs to get on Deadpool's case and, you know, get the job done. Because if it gets out there that... that this is going on, then it's it's on her. But if nobody, if she succeeds in getting rid of all the presidents and nobody hears about it, well then, you know, good for her. Move on with your day. So it's it's either, you know, she's in a tough position. But um, you know, they agree to pay Deadpool a lot of money to uh, take on this task. And the way that they kill the presidents in here is just. They, they do it in very creative way, uh, ways, and uh, it, it's really cool how, um, you know, they put some of these old-time presidents and some of these presidents that are, like, not known at all, and they put them in this, this society, our society, and they're having them getting used to all this stuff. Like, in uh, issue six, they mention a couple of presidents. They, were, they didn't know how to deal with midtown traffic. And they get hit by that bus. Yeah. Because they were on horses in the middle oh, of the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that, was, that. And that was a gory scene, too. 
Um, <laughs> so again, like Posehn and Duggan, they did a great job at like putting these these characters in a position that they don't know, but also making them a threat. Like all the presidents in here are, are a real threat, and they kind of got you know they kind of got the characters of the presidents right too. How you think they, they would act yeah. if they were evil? Yeah. Um. There's, uh, there's, there's a lot of funny parts in here. Um, <laughs> I know in the Daniel Way run, there were great issues that were hilarious, and then there were some miss issues, and throughout this whole, uh, first story, uh, first story arc, it was just hit after hit after hit, and, um, you know, there's, I really like issue number two. Uh, issue number two, Deadpool fights, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. As he's Teddy Roosevelt's uh, oh, hunting the... hunting game, <laughs> in the at, zoo. but in the zoo, yeah. So uh, <laughs> that that one part, Deadpool gets impaled pretty much by a uh, by a, an an, el an elephant, and uh, it is not only oh, is it gruesome, gosh. but it's also funny. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you guys that scene. Yeah, his his guts are actually out, <laughs> and. Um, Right here, they have this sound effect that says "splorp," and <laughs> and Deadpool, of course, Deadpool breaks the fourth wall a lot, and uh, he's he's like, "Gross! I've never heard my body go splorp before." <laughs> <laughs> so all this stuff was really funny, and I I enjoyed it very much, and I know you enjoyed it very much, because mm -hmm. uh, we would be uh, reading these things together, and we're just both cracking up, and it's just you know. Um, I was really excited when I heard about Posehn being a writer on this book because I was like, okay, you know, I really enjoy Daniel Way's stuff, you know, Daniel Way just being a good writer, and, uh, but bringing in a, a, a comedian to write Deadpool was probably the best decision because, you know, a comedian can put out great jokes and make them work for, you know, especially for this kind of character, mm -hmm. and, uh, there's just, like, what do you think was your favorite issue throughout this whole thing? Oh, I feel that, that's like... a hard one. That's a hard question. Yeah, probably. I'll let you look at the cover so you can. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Definitely number five. Number five, you guys can, and that cover is probably one of the best covers. Mm -hmm. Um, but why do you say number five? Cause I don't know. I just like. I remember that monkey scene, and it just like I don't know, I just it just like sticks in my mind every time. <laughs> like I don't know, it's just and how like he's with um, Reagan. Yeah, Reagan in and this like, space. Like yeah, when he's in the ship, and then like the way he dies, it's just like gets <laughs> sucked into outer space, and his like body's all like me, and then like he just like goes into outer space, and it's like crazy. It was yeah. Oh my gosh! It, all these issues were hilarious. <laughs> There's uh, always something that sticks with yeah, you in each issue. Definitely, like, mm -hmm. um, like in the first issue, what sticks with me is, uh, is Deadpool. Just the first scene that you see Deadpool and just popping out of uh, that that dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, and the second issue, it's Deadpool getting impaled by the elephant, and uh, <laughs> and then. Unfortunately for all you elephant lovers, uh, the elephant dies, and uh, oh, yeah. Deadpool does not Remember. stop talking about dead elephant jokes. Like there's this <laughs> hilarious, oh my god, there's this hilarious joke where he's like, the the elephant is burning, and then Deadpool's just like, should we talk about the elephant in the room? Because it's on fire. <laughs> so. <laughs> So it's just it's such a funny, such oh funny moments. Uh, uh, in the this third issue, I really like uh, Richard Nixon. <laughs> when Richard Nixon comes back, he comes back to Watergate. So <laughs> 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 and so that's where he stays at. And then uh, an important thing that happens with Doctor Strange is that Doctor Strange, uh, he gives Deadpool this magical sword after Deadpool gets completely just destroyed by by Washington and Lincoln and uh, Ford. He gets messed up and beaten up to, like, he, it's just a funny way that he got beaten up and all this kind of stuff. But um, they left a sword in his body, like one of those old-timey, 
general swords from George Washington. They left it in his body, and uh, Doctor Strange then like enchanted that sword. So it can then, you know, kill off these presidents because these presidents don't die with just bullets and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's another that that's uh, Doctor Strange's main uh, contribution to this. <laughs> and uh, there's this thing I should mention while I still have it in my head. There's this thing that happens in here that in this third issue, where Deadpool, or I should say, Doctor Strange sees something in Deadpool's. I think it's his head. And he kind of whispers what they need to talk about later. He whispers it into Deadpool's ear and you can't read it. And uh, then you don't hear anything about that until the last issue at the end where Doctor Strange is like, okay, now we can talk about that issue that uh, we need to talk about. So uh, definitely Posehn and Duggan setting some things up for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to be something uh, very personal to 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 uh wade and uh i i can't wait to read what it's gonna be about um back to our favorite issues in this i would say mine it's a it's a toss-up between the second and fourth issue but I'll, I'll take the fourth issue uh just because the art in here i mean the art in every issue is awesome but the thing that sticks with me in this is the homage page to uh uh, the Superman f versus Ali uh, cover, and I'll show you guys that because it's I, I noticed it right away. And this issue is very gruesome as well. <laughs> I just opened up opened up to a horrible page. <laughs> and, um, but uh, let me try to find yeah right here, and uh, just throw it back right there, and you guys see um, in this uh, corner right here with more Posehn and Duggan and then you have Daredevil in place of Batman from the uh, the Superman comic and so again just things that stick with you in every issue so uh, definitely the imagery is just phenomenal I hope Tony Moore stays on this book Tony Moore the artist yeah I like he I hope he stays on the book don't you yeah because it was absolutely awesome it's it's a fun art uh, I can't see anybody else doing it better than than he has. Um, when we this story wraps up very well, I I think and right like how the story progressed. Uh, it didn't. It wasn't too slow and it wasn't too yeah. fast. Yeah. It like it was just right. Yeah. Um, and uh, the ending, the 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 finale, the last issue. I thought it was really good. You just read it today for the first time, mm -hmm. so it's fresh in your mind. Like, what did you think about how the whole story moved along and how then it, you know, ended? Like, I thought it ended really well. Like, it was, like, confusing, but, like, like at the end I was like, what? But, like, I had to, like, read it again and then I had to understand because, like, remember, like, you had to explain um, again, like, at the end. I don't want to say it because I don't want to ruin it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, we don't want to ruin this last part, but, um, oh, so an important part in this, because this is kind of, I'll say mild spoiler review, um, <laughs> but this is a big spoiler. So if you haven't read it, just skip a couple seconds and now I'm going to tell you. Um, so in, at the end of issue five, uh, Agent Preston gets killed by George Washington. And so, um. It's a major moment, and after that, it uh, this is what made this story arc great for me was because they gave Deadpool a, a a personality that he has feelings and he feels for his friends and things that wasn't in the Daniel Way run, and uh, so they definitely gave this character a lot of emotion instead of him being joke after joke after joke, mm -hmm. and uh, I know from the Deadpool core book uh it was kind of just joke after joke because you have like yeah. six deadpools yeah. yeah and uh all the all you can do is joke but yeah. in, in uh, this story arc uh they did a great job in giving deadpool a real character yeah. and um at the end of this is what i won't spoil for you uh there's some cool stuff with agent preston and i'm just gonna leave it at that but it's even more so than you might think it is so um, just read it for yourself if, if you want to know. But um, 
at the end, after Deadpool succeeds, uh, the Avengers are congratulating him and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I was feeling good. I was like, yes, Deadpool is finally getting congratulated by the Avengers. And, uh, and right, like, he's getting congratulated, but then they kind of blow him off. Yeah. And I was like, Hank, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he just did all this work for you guys. Yeah. So you guys could, you know, be clean. And then he gets blown off. Like, uh, Thor's like, there will be some mead in Asgard waiting for you. And he's like, and Deadpool's like, yes, I can drink mead with Thor. And Thor's like, I didn't say I was going to drink with you. I just said it would be there. <laughs> <laughs> and then he flies away. And so, like, Deadpool is kind of left all alone. And uh, some of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, this one S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, he's such a... He's a douchebag. Hate him. <laughs> yeah, he and so again setting things up for the future that's gonna be very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then just the final thing that gets set up is the most interesting part that I won't ruin because um, you just gotta read it for yourself. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. If I were to rate this book out of five, I would definitely give it like a six out of five. <laughs> um, give it a seven. <laughs> So, like, as you can see, we really enjoyed this whole book, this whole story arc, and, uh, of course, I'm going to keep on reading it. Are you going to keep on reading it? Yes. So, we can probably do one of these types of videos where we wear our only Deadpool shirts <laughs> that we have <laughs> and review future story arcs for Deadpool. Yes. Uh, I don't see myself ever uh, taking this off my pull. It's only a two ninety nine book, and it's well worth the price. Um, so, yeah. Pick it up if you guys aren't reading it, and if you guys are reading it, how do you guys like it? You know, I I loved it, she loved it, and uh, yeah. So we have something extra for you guys if you guys have been watching this long, and uh, we're guys are gonna uh, we're gonna show you guys some art that I've been uh, throwing some teasers out in my videos. <laughs> uh, we're gonna show some art and just start with you first since you only have one. Okay. She did this as. And this is a cover from, I forgot which issue, Deadpool from Daniel Way's run. But here it is. She framed it and everything. And uh, that, it's awesome. Thank That's you. an awesome drawing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, it's definitely frame worthy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, now I have to follow up with my drawings and it's just not going to be good. But uh, they're good drawings though. So, um, and they deal with this presence thing, so in America. So the first drawing I did, Deadpool's got his judge's robe on and his judge's wig and he's shooting George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Um, and so, you know, this is, and he, he's saying, I sentence you to death like a, like an executioner and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. And then uh, one of my, <laughs> even better, I thought, was uh, this one. And this is a parody of the, uh, Iwo Jima Memorial, and you see the Deadpool's raising up the, the Deadpool flag, and you got this one over here just <laughs> fell down, and you know, you guys check out the detail on that, and so again, you know, we're, we're over here doing art, doing our thing, reading our comics and stuff, you know, she's still not going to read comics regularly, but uh, she will read Deadpool whenever I get it, so uh, I think that's a bonus. Uh, we might do Deadpool Illustrated. Uh, I haven't run this by her, but this is the first time she's hearing about it. But I definitely suggest that you read that because it's also really good. Um, but anyways, that's it for us. This is a long video. I don't want the camera to turn off yet. So uh, I'm Wellington signing off with a comic book lowdown. And this is... Marissa. And we'll <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>